I'm going to turn my camera off when I do this. I don't like people watching me, <laughs> whatever. Yes, um, I feel you. When I look like I just woke up, <laughs> which I did. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock over here. I appreciate the dedication. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's. See, it's telling me to see how the, you know what, I don't know, not today. Um, <laughs> all right, we are going right, hey, shut the cat. <laughs> I thought you hear my little puppy, she's barking. Yeah, it's just going to be an animal day, that's fine. They're joining in. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're going live in a couple of seconds. everyone and thank you for joining us for another Stroll of You class. I am your host Tiffany McDaniel and we are here with our Dig In Breathe Hard series and we are joined today by Heather McCoy and she is going to do a strengthening and conditioning class. So welcome, enjoy, let's sweat. Hey everyone, good, good Saturday. What am I talking about? Happy Saturday and welcome. I'm glad you joined today. We are going to get working our arms and legs. Some of this stuff is a little bit strenuous. Uh, so if you at any point in time need to go a little bit slower than I'm going, or if you want to up the pace a little bit, that's fine too. But do not do anything that causes you pain. You should not feel pain with any of these exercises. So we're just going to start off with a little bit of easy stuff, which is just a little bit of stretching. It's always good to stretch beforehand. So one of my favorite stretches to do is a chest stretch. You kind of just act like you're a Superman hero or superhero, whatever your choice is. Pull those shoulders back. And just kind of stretch that chest. You want to act like as if you're poking that chest out and relax. Again, and relax. Again, and relax. All right, now we're going to go into our arms and we're going to do an arm circle. This is just kind of a slow motion. You don't need to do this so fast that you hurt your shoulder. All right, and the other side. And if I do something that you can't see and you need clarification, just let me know and I'll try to change my camera. All right. Now we're going to do an exercise that's kind of called good morning. 
uh, some of you it probably is morning time. So the, the way you do this is you just kind of lean forward is if you're trying to make a stretch down, kind of go to your waistline and come back up. So go down and come back up. And if you have back issues or anything like that, you probably will feel more of a, a pull. So just do what you're able to do. Some people may be able to go a little bit lower. All right. If you have your dumbbells, you can grab those. If you don't, you can grab what's near you to use. Or if you don't have any equipment at all, that's okay too. You can still do the movements. What we're going to do here is a squat into a punch. So the best way to do a squat is I always say to imagine that you're sitting in a chair. I apologize, my puppy found a rattling toy. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to act as if we're sitting down in that chair. Come back up and punch. Sit back down. Come up. Other side and punch. Rest a second. All right, let's go back into the next set. All right. Now you can do this one lying on the floor, or you could do it sitting in a chair or standing up for my position. I'm going to do standing up for the purpose of this video. So you're going to act as if you're that Superman hero and extend your body. If you're trying to stretch as far up as you can and release. If you're lying on the floor, obviously you'll be able to stretch all your limbs forward. If you're standing up, you're going to act as if you're trying to stretch as far up in there as you can. Is always a great one to do if you're like me and have back issues because it gives you a nice back stretch. All right. This one is super easy. This is just a side bend stretch. So I'm sure you've done this one before. You're just gonna lean to your side. Bring that body towards the other side and lean. Come back up and release. Other side. Release. Other side. Release.
You should feel that not only in your lower back, but your hips. All right, and some of these we're gonna come back to at the end of the, the class, but let's grab them dumbbells again. This one is gonna be a single deadlift, but we're gonna be using our dumbbells. The best way to do this one is kind of to extend the front of you, hang you down, and you're gonna pull that dumbbell up. So it's dragging you down and you're pulling it up, leaving that leg extended out in front. One more and then we'll switch to the other side. All right, switch, same thing, leg out in front. Pull that dumbbell up. If you did not want to use a dumbbell and you wanted to do this exercise on your own, you could also use a band and put it around the front of your foot and pull up this way. All right, let's switch back to the right side. All right, let's switch back to the left, last set. All right, you can put those dumbbells down for the moment. The next thing we're gonna do is called a lateral lunge. I'm sure everybody knows how to do a lunge. Normally you would extend your leg out in front and drop your back leg down. The way you do the lateral lunge is you're going this direction instead of out front. So you're gonna to extend to the side and kind of lean that leg down a little bit and come back up. So lean it down. And if you do find that you have a little bit of stability issues with doing your, for like me, my right leg is dominant. But if I was to have stability issues with doing it that way, I could always just drop my left leg down. All right, do the other side.
All right, we're gonna grab those dumbbells again. And we're gonna go right into this one. It's a upward throw, but we're gonna be using our bell. Now, if you had a kettlebell or any of that type of equipment, you can use that one too. So this one is gonna be as if you're holding that dumbbell out in front of you. You're gonna go up above your head, behind your head a little bit, come back down. Go up above the head, and come back down. I'm realizing at this point that I should have taken my little puppy crinkly toy up. <laughs> All right, let's relax a second. You should start to feel that, especially in your shoulders. All right, let's jump back into that next set. Up above the head, back down. Two more. All right. If you have two dumbbells, you can do it this way. If you do not have two and you just want to do it one side at a time, that's fine too. If I'm going to have my other dumbbell over there, but just imagine they have another dumbbell in this hand. You're going to bring those dumbbells to the center of your chest and back out. So bring them to the center of your chest and back out. If you have just one dumbbell, you're gonna bring it to the center of your chest and back out. This exercise will get much harder if you could go up in your weights and you can also do this if you had a kettlebell, you could just hold it and keep swinging it towards your chest. Relax. All right, one more set. Three more. All right. Now I know that everyone in their life has jump roped at some point in time, but you don't have to have a jump rope for this exercise. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mimic as if we did have a jump rope. So you're gonna imagine that you have that jump rope in your hands, you got your feet on the floor, and we're going to act as if we're jumping and doing your arm. So you're gonna pretend there's that jump rope. You're gonna jump and come down. And you don't have to jump completely off the floor. This is just kind of as if that 
rope was just barely going up under your shoe and you're just lifting your foot. I actually just ordered me something cool. I never knew that a wireless rope existed and the handles have weights to them. Well, that's something cool that I just ordered. I probably have not jumped rope in years. I cry when I was little. Couple more. A lot of people like to jump rope really fast because it's great cardio. All right, now as we kind of get that heart rate coming down a little bit, we're gonna, this one is super easy. We're just gonna do side to side. So you're gonna just walk, stop, come back into position, walk, and this is just using your hips. And if you wanted to get real fancy with this, you can kind of make it a dance step and go to the side, put your foot out and come back in. All right, now let's do some calf raises. We should know how, everybody should know how to do this one. I mean, if you've taken my classes before, you definitely know. The way to do a calf raise is you're just gonna pretend as if you're trying to elevate yourself up using your feet, but you do not want to rock back and forth. You just want to gently come up as if you're on your toes and gently come back down. This is a great one to do if you have ankle issues because it helps strengthen them. All right, the next one is a heel to glutes. I think everybody knows what their glutes are. Now you will find, especially if you have tight hamstrings, that this may be a little bit more difficult. But again, like I said earlier, don't do it if you have pain. The way you do this one is I'm gonna have to turn where I'm not facing the camera to show you this one. So you're going to bring that leg up and you're gonna to wanna to act as if almost like you're gonna kick the back of your bottom there. Bring that leg up and back down. So bring that leg up behind your bottom and back down. Now, if you wanted to extend that, you could bring it up, hold your foot, a few seconds and then release. So bring it up and release. Sometimes people will hold it instead of just acting like they're kicking their bottom. 
Sometimes it'll make you feel like you've got just a tad bit more control with doing that. All right, switch to the other side. All right, relax a second. This one will really get your legs starting to hurt. The good kind of hurt. Let's go into that second set. Up to the glutes, back down. All right, switch sides. Two more. All right. Next one is going to be feel like I say that the whole video. The next one's going to be, but this one is just working your quads a little bit. So we're going to get into that squatting position, but we're going to imagine as if we have something in our hands and turn and rotate to the side and then come back. So down, squat, turn, up, back. Down, squat, turn, up, and back. And if this is a little bit difficult for you to do, you could always just squat and imagine you're just passing a ball off. Switch sides. Switch sides again, last set. Last set on the left. All right, we're gonna wanna grab those dumbbells again. Let you catch your breath just a second. And this one is really easy. This is just putting those dumbbells over our head. So imagine as if you're just punching it up in there, 
bringing it back down to shoulder level and then relaxing. So up, punch, shoulder level, relax. Up, punch, shoulder level, and relax. If you wanted to make this a little bit more difficult, you could always go up, turn the dumbbell, and then come back down. All right, let's switch sides. All right, relax. Right, let's do one more set. All right, switch sides. Last set here. Okay. You can drop those dumbbells. We're going to do a kind of a leg stretch here, but this one I like to call the softball stretch. I used to be a softball player when I was younger. And this was always a great way to stretch your legs. So similar to the lunge, you're going to extend that leg out in front and just act as if almost if you're trying to do a split in a way, See how far you can get that leg in front of you. And you should start to feel it in both of your legs. Hold it for just a few seconds. And relax. Other side. Leg out in front. And relax. Again, again, okay. Now, this one will depend on your stability, if you cannot hold it for as long as I'm holding it, just do whatever is in your comfort zone. I'm really good at balancing, so I like to challenge myself. You can do this if you have a one of those platforms that is for balancing. You could do it on a stepper. You can just do it as I'm doing right now, just on regular floor, you're just going to balance. So gently bring up your foot and it doesn't have to be way up here doing anything crazy. Just a simple balance move. 
I talk about how good I'm balancing. I'm over here like waving. <laughs> so you will find probably that your dominant side is a little better than the other one. And you can just hold it for a few seconds. You can hold it between five to 30 seconds, whatever you want to do. This is just kind of a non-strenuous exercise to kind of bring our heart rates down a little bit. We have, I was so good at balancing that they would purposely try to challenge me with making me hold stuff as a, while I was balancing. Sometimes if you wanted to do this and had one of those little walking boards, you could put one foot in front of the other and try to balance that way. But I'm no gymnast, so I'm not gonna try that. And sometimes if you just didn't want to just do the boring old lift your foot up, you could challenge yourself and try to put your arms out or put some weight like going forward and try to see if you can balance. All right. Grab those dumbbells again. I gave you just a little bit of a break, so now we gotta jump back into it. So this one is called the Around the World because you're trying to make a circle. If you have your two dumbbells, ideally you would go up above your head, touch them, come back down, but if you are just using one dumbbell like I am right now, you can still just do one side if you don't want to do both at the same time. All right, so up and down. I apologize if y'all can hear my stomach growling. It will be lunchtime after I do this. Now I'm switching over here just because I'm trying not to make one arm that tired. But just imagine I have two going here. All right, one more time. This is another exercise that if you had kettlebells, you could, it would make it a little bit harder, but you could still do it. Sometimes people would just kind of hold it, the kettlebell directly over their head. All right, hang in there, we're almost done. All right, another one with the dumbbell. But this one is called a C rotation. You're going to try as if the dumbbell is trying to make a C out of the movements. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. So you're just gonna open up as if you're drawing that C and back down, so up. Turn and back down. You could also do it this way, whichever one feels 
best to you. I actually like the overhand and coming instead of this way. And you can do this again with both sides at one time or one side at one time. And if you're doing it right, you will feel this all the way up your arm and to your shoulder. All right, let's switch sides. All right, switch sides again. Last set. Switch sides. All right. Still using those dumbbells. We're going to get our abs working a little bit. So the way you're going to do this one is you're going to bring that leg up, holding that dumbbell and back down. And the way I'm gonna do it is going both at the same time. So up, down, up, down. And relax a second. All right, one more time. And you don't have to do this fast, but if you really wanted to get some cardio in too, you could do this one super fast and talk about a workout, you will probably be gasping for breath. Tired yet? <laughs> All right. We're just going to kind of do some other exercises here to get that heart rate coming back down before we get into the cool down. So I'm going to use my band, but you don't have to use a band. If you want to use your dumbbell, if you don't want to do that and you just want to do the motions, you can do this too. If you have a dumbbell, you're going to you're going to do this and just act as if you're drawing it down. If you're using a band, you're going to pull that band down. If you're not using anything, you'll just do the motion for that. Pull that band down and up, down, up. This is working the triceps as a form of tricep extension. Switch sides.
Switch sides again. Last set on the left. Right. And step down. Another type of a stretch. This is just a back stretch. Now you can do this standing up or sitting in a chair. Back stretch, you're just going to extend backwards. You should feel it in that lower back. A lot of times, if you're standing, you kind of mimic what the chair pressure would be. All right, let's do some walking in motion. I mean, in position, motion. Say, so I might need to still wake up today. All right, so you're, this is just walking in position. So you can go fast or you can go slow. But since we're going into a cool down, I'm going to go a little bit slower than my normal pace would be. This is just because as we're entering that cool down, we're wanting that heart rate to go back down and our breathing to return to normal. If you didn't want to walk in position and you just want to walk around the room, that works too. A few more seconds. All right. And this is another good one to do, especially if you have lung disease. We're just going to extend those arms up over our head, slowly release. And as we release, we're releasing that, that breath slow. So up, deep, big, deep breath. Slowly let it out. Big deep breath. Slow release. If you didn't want to do this over your head, you could always just take deep, big deep breaths. You could hold your hand against your belly as the Inhale and exhale left. If you didn't want to do where you brought your arms up and down, you could also just sit them on the top of your head and still take those deep breaths as you're stretching your chest.
My heart rate and breathing is returning to normal, so I'm sure yours is too. Few more seconds. All right, is everybody good? I think that's going to be it for today. I hope I didn't wear you out too much. But as always, I definitely appreciate everyone joining me. I have been, I have so much fun doing this, but it's such an honor to be able to bring my passion to others. Thank you so much. That was an excellent workout. I enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> yeah i there were some things i couldn't do like i never like lateral um squats i just hate i they're, they're just not my thing <laughs> well you know i've really, never really been big on lunges but i always found that the lateral lunges or like the backward lunges were for some reason easier than the standard lunge i don't know why sometimes i like at rehab we would have to do them on like using a chair and that's okay too but oh okay yeah <laughs> well thank you everyone for joining us for another stroll in your class be sure to join us for more and sign up at cflf.org slash stroll on you. And I would like to give a thank you to our sponsors, Nestle Health Science, KAZ, and Beatrice. Thank you so much for your support. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your day. And thank you for joining. Yeah, thanks, guys. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and we are...